You hello is warding of our praise. You are the miracle in our life today. Hey. Our Lord Jesus so that we know his word in hope for praise. You are the joy in our life today. You had the reason of the season today. You are the joy in our life today. Our Lord Jesus. We sing you well, O His word in half our praise. You are the miracle in our life today. Praise God once again. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome, guys. Today I will be talking about youth. We talk, I will be talking about youth. This youth we have in our town, you know, I love them so much. I always talk about youth sometimes. So today topic is about our youth. So I will go on quickly. The book of Joshua. Joshua 1 verse 8. When our Lord tells us about meditation, the books what we meditate on the books of this Bible, the book of the law, should not depart from our hearts, from our mouths. There we shall have good success. There we shall have good future. Because this is our manner. This is everything we use. This is the thing we need in our day to follow. Everything we are doing is in this book of the law. So that is why the, our Lord told Joshua should meditate, that you will have good success, that you will have bright future, that you will have good hope. So I'm asking our youth today, what are we meditating on? What are we thinking about this day? Is it only Instagram, whatsoever that is going on today? Joshua never go on those things. Joshua never meditate on, on those things. You will say, because those things were, were not existing in those days. So I will also tell you, because Joshua separated himself, he followed the servant of God, Moses. That is why Joshua also be a leader. That is why I'm still telling our you today, you also, you are a leader. Particularly what is going on this day, suicide, something. You see these days, our youth, they are killing themselves. I want to tell you, youth, I, want, I came to encourage you in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever you are passing through, don't keep it to yourself. You are not alone. We, your parents, we are with you guys. Whatsoever the situation you will see yourself in the school, something might be hard for you. You might be passing some difficulty even in school. Please discuss with your parents. Don't keep it to yourself. You may keep it to yourself, be meditating on it. That is why I read the book of Joshua. You may be meditating on it, you will meditate wrong. You will go astray. What we need to meditate on is the book of the Bible. The word of God. When mistakes happen, you have a mistake. Your parents may not be living with you when you are there in uni. Please call them. Pour your heart to your parents. Pour your heart to your God. God is always there with you to guide you. To tell you the right thing to do. Your parents also by God's grace. God will give them wisdom. They are in this world before you. Then give back to you. Then will also tell you what to do. And the way to go. Please don't keep anything to yourself. Don't just leave us suddenly. You go on your own. And go and commit atrocity. Please we don't want that in our society anymore. Youth, you guys are so important to us. You are our bright future. No matter whatever you are passing through, I repeat, please don't keep it to yourself. Say it out. Say it out. It might be difficult. You might say, if I say it, you might fall in sin that you didn't prepare for. You might fall in one thing on the other. Guys, I tell you, there is nothing, nothing that has happened today that never happened before. Do you hear me? So there is nothing we are passing through that nobody else have not passed through. The, that is the thing. Please pour your hearts out. You might be in one every my situation and the other. 
please say to your say to your parents say to your auntie your parents might be difficult to speak to please come out find one pastors that you know your your parents the church they are going to talk to him let them call your parents and let's discuss this thing together this life we are thinking you are not the one that own your life our lord jesus own your life if you kill yourself the life jesus will ask you do you know what he will face then do you know judas is the one that killed himself in the bible because he betrayed our lord jesus christ after that he go and kill himself the money was not important for him again he go and kill himself please don't do that when someone do that hell is in position it will go to hell as you continue maybe you are in sin please you repent when you repent everyone is guaranteed try to live holy try to live holy and perfect life and god will help you the book of matthew the lord always demonstrates us with the children of god these are the two words that always fear me the lights and these are the things we need daily we need the lights to move so that we will not stumble in darkness so that we will not fall in darkness we need the light we are the light of the world and also we are the salt we are the salt of the earth if any salt lose the taste it's good for nothing we don't need to lose our taste we are the, the future you youth you are our future you guys are important to us in evangelism we need you guys in the church we need you guys bring instruments we're doing we want thing and the other you guys are really really important for us don't do atrocity if you fall into it i repeat please call us and tell, tell us we your parents we love you guys and we parents we are not we should not say that it's only my children, it's my children. You know our labor is, we are, we are there by the grace of God. Let's take other children around us as our children. Let's pray for them, let's love them, let's care for them. Because if our children environment, our prayer, they come out perfectly. We will have good environment, we will have good society. That is just my point, we will have good society. Please, as you pray for your children, Pray for other children like that. God will help us. We will see we will have good generation. And our children also will be a good children. Not just praying for your children, your children, your children. In law. We are children of God. We intercede on the behalf of other children. We intercede on the behalf of other parents that God should grant them wisdom. So that they will raise up good children. So that we have a better environment. Please let's change our mind. Also, our beautiful mommy out there. Let's stand and encourage our children. If we see anyone around us doing something we don't like, instead of going around and gossiping and saying one thing, please, it's your duty. Like my children, if you see them, call them and correct them. Maybe I didn't see that one. Call them and correct them. That, what are you doing? You are a child of God. You don't need to follow so so people around because sometimes you think your children they might go and move around with wayward people people out there i pray they are no wayward in jesus name god will still change them this is our desire god will touch our children touch the children the youth out there because it's so is really important this is what we are looking for let all these youth be saved let all these children be saved they will not end like often and finia in the book of psalm first summer you see it then allied children what they become after like die sudden death and the children it, it died and the daughter in law gave birth to Ekabo. you know our society will not be like that in jesus name Please, mommy, add the leg joy and together pray for all our youths. And you youths, whatsoever you are passing to tell us, we are not uh, uh, spirits. If God didn't tell us, and if you yourself didn't tell us, mommy, that this is what you're challenging, we would know. It is not up to death. Don't go and kill yourself. Don't go and do one uh, uh, stupid uh, uh, things out there. Because your life, you're not the one that owes your life. Please, you keep this in mind and God will help you and strengthen you. I know sometimes a lot of challenges, even with parents, sometimes we pass challenges, but thank God that is always our strength. We love you guys. I personally love you. You all are my children. You are my spiritual children by God's grace. I'm not coming to make man to know that I pray for you. I pray for you guys and it shall be well with you guys. You will cook, people will come out perfectly and great children. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
God will help you off. Don't worry, whatever you are passing through, it is well. Continue meditating the word of God. This word of God, let it not depart from your mouth. Let it be your manner. If you are in stress, just go and be on your knee. Read the Bible and it shall be well with you. God bless you till I come back to your way. Bye-bye.